Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 build 26200.5742 for the version 25H2 and the dev channel. These changes also apply to build 26120.5742 and the beta channel. Okay, first, in this release, Microsoft continues to deprecate control panel by bringing more options to the settings app. For example, if we go to time and language, then if we go to date and time, on this page, we're going to find a bunch of new changes that were previously only available in control panel. For example, right here on this setting, we can now add secondary clocks to the taskbar. From here, you can change the time zone and the display name. And from here, you can reset it. And then, and then we're going to see the clock as we hover over the time and the system tray. And right here on the notification area, you can add up to two different clocks. Now, if we scroll down, under the uh, sync now setting, we can now change the time server. So we can just click the button right here. And in here you can change the address for the time server. Now the option to access the date and time formatting is not available through the date and time page, rather than in the language and regions page. And you can now even change the symbol for AM and PM. Now, if we go to the language and regions page, now under the regional format setting, you can now change the number format. And you can also change the currency format. Now under the Windows Display Language setting, you can now you can now enable the Unicode UTF-8 for worldwide language support. And finally, under additional settings, you now have the options to copy the current user settings to a welcome screen and symbol accounts. And you can also copy the current user settings to new user accounts. Now, the only options that I couldn't find on my installation were the settings to change the character repeat delayed and rate in the keyboard page and the setting to control the cursor blink rate and the text cursor page. Now, starting with this release for version 25H2, the company is also updating the start menu sidebar for mobile devices. And even though it remains familiar, the company is adding the ability to scroll through more activities. In addition, this layout will allow you to access your messages, calls, photos, mobile app updates, and more. And this will be the same for iPhone and Android devices. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that we're going to find on Windows 11 build 26200.5742 for version 25H2. The company is also releasing bug fixes, as you can see right here, for File Explorer, Start Menu, Task Manager, Input Settings, and more. And the company is also pointing out different known issues with this particular build. If you want to learn more details about this preview, make sure to check the description of the video to get a link to a written article with all the details and additional updates as they become available. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about these changes, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.